So rule number one is, you know, the stick blade should be flat on the ice with the arm, you know, pretty close to straight, uh, straight on the side. And uh, your top hand should be in front of your body. And so that's me back when I played in Anaheim. Um, so we always say the guys, it's a beautiful stick length. Here's another one of me when I had some hair, same thing. Stick is short, you know, my, my hand, my, my right arm is pretty straight and, and my stick's not even on the ice. So it, it's a short stick. I realized um, when I went through college and then up the ranks, I always had a pretty short stick in college. But when, when I went up the higher level I got, the, the shorter I needed it just be, to make it so my hands were as quick as possible and I could get pucks out and pucks in and make, make plays in tight areas. So the 1960s, you look back, the, the best player in the world was Bobby Orr. Um, you can see how short his stick was. His blade's totally flat on the ice. His arm is almost perfectly straight by his side. Then in the 80s, which was the best player back then for sure, and, and arguably the best player in the world, in my opinion, the best player to ever play. Um, you can see how short his stick was. Wayne Gretzky, his, his arm is almost perfectly straight, and his, his stick is flat on the ice. And uh, he was pretty good. 1990s, the best player in the world, Mario Lemieux. I actually had the pleasure of playing with him in Pittsburgh. I actually have one of his sticks, and it's about an inch longer than the stick that I use, and he's four inches taller than me. You can see how his hands are right in front of him on the left-hand picture there. Um, his arms are perfectly straight. It, it, it enables a big man like that who is six foot four, or six foot five, to have uh, the puck in his skates and, and in tight areas and to be able to make plays, and he wouldn't be able to perform the way he did uh, with a long stick. Um, I've talked with him about it, and, and he showed me that, you know, his right, or it would be my right arm because I'm a lefty, but his left arm, he liked to have it right on his pocket, right in his hip pocket as he stick handling. And you can see on the left-handed, on the left picture there, his his uh, left hand is basically right in his, his left hip pocket. So in the 2000s, one of the best players, you know, I had the, the privilege to, to play against this guy. I mean, he was the MVP one of the years in the 90s. You can see how short his stick on the, on the left-hand side. You can see his toe um, is not even on the ice, but his stick is still just above um, above his chest and about four inches less than his chin. So he used a short stick, and he was a dynamic player, uh, 483 goals, and he clearly liked a short stick. Last decade or so, the best player in the world, arguably Sidney Crosby. I'm a big fan of Crosby. Um, he gave a stick to me to give to my daughter when we went down to visit him in, uh, when Pittsburgh was in town about four or five years ago. And his stick is about two inches shorter than mine. And um, I use a short one. And you can see that his, his right arm is, is perfectly straight and his stick is, uh, his blade is perfectly flat on the ice. <laughs> 